Breaking news from Capitol Hill, a House Ethics Committee report found substantial evidence that Congressman George Santos broke the law. In their highly anticipated report, the committee writes that Santos sought to fraudulently exploit every aspect of his House candidacy for his own personal financial profit, blatantly stole from his campaign and deceived donors into providing what they thought were contributions to his campaign, but were in fact payments for his personal benefit. CNN's Manu Raju is live on Capitol Hill. I mean, I have never read anything like this. It's pretty remarkable. Yeah, in addition to that, it says in the report, he sustained all of that through a, quote, constant series of lies to his constituents, donors, and staff about his background and his experience. Now the question for George Santos is how long he can remain in his seat. He just announced moments ago that he would not run for re-election, despite telling me just a couple of weeks ago that he absolutely would run even if he were expelled. We do expect the chairman of this committee, the Republican chairman, Michael Guest, tomorrow to file a resolution to kick him out of the House, which would need two-thirds majority to succeed. The question is, can he get there? Now, the, among the things that are detailed in this report is one of the aspects that he knowingly falsified his financial disclosures with the House. That is also part of the 23-count indictment that George Santos is facing. Santos has pleaded not guilty to those charges. Just a couple of weeks ago, I asked Santos about that exact situation, about alleged, allegedly filing those false disclosures with the House, and here's what he said. In the indictment, it says, and this is a serious part, about filing false reports with the House, allegedly. Financial, they said you made up your income. And that could be a problem for your ethics probe. What happened? I mean, did you not list your income it, properly here? All I, all, I can say, all I can say is, first, no, that's not true. Second, uh, were there mistake made on those forms? I'm, now I know they were. Uh, was I, were they malicious? No. Did I understand the reporting date? So this is from last year to current date this year? No, I didn't, I didn't understand how that worked. And I'm a new candidate, and I'm sorry that, like, mistakes were made. Now, Santos has not formally responded other than through on social media, saying if there was a single ounce of ethics in this ethics co committee, they would have not released this biased report. He went on to say the committee went on to extraordinary lengths to smear myself and my legal team about me and not being forthcoming. Now, he did not participate in an interview with this committee. They had asked him for a volunteer interview. He said no. They decided not to also have a formal recommendation to expel him, Dana. And the big reason why, according to the chairman, is that it would extend this even further into next year, this probe. So they decided to do it this way. But still. Something that could happen by the end of the month. That's such an important point is uh, that you're making there, Manu, that the ethics committee intentionally didn't put in the uh, the recommendation to expel because they wanted it to, it to happen quicker, which is uh, fascinating. Yeah. Um, Manu, thank you so much for that reporting. Appreciate it. The panel is still with me here. I mean, you know, it, this is. I mean, I, this is it. It's it's not that long. I mean, the evidence is is much longer, but it is so sharp, so blunt. There is absolutely no room for any gray area at all. Absolutely unanimous about everything that he did. Fraudulently exploit every aspect of his House candidacy for his own personal profit. Blatantly stole from his payments for his personal benefit. Fictitious loans for his political committees. Uh, used connections uh, with value, high value donors uh, to obtain additional money for himself. Stained all of this through a series of lies to his constituents, to his donors, to his staff. Essentially guilty of what uh, we've been reading about, first in the New York Times and then here and elsewhere. I mean, uh, it's all confirmed. He can put out a statement at the end uh, sort of going after the ethics probe, but he did not cooperate, as Manu said. He did not give an interview. So he has nothing to say. And the reason that they didn't subpoena him is also interesting because they didn't find him credible. And they said he would simply embellish this. So the reality is this has been a huge black eye on the House. In a year, in an, a term of Congress of many, mm -hmm. this certainly will stand out. But uh, it's an embarrassment. Laura, you've been looking through some of the evidence. Yeah, the report, which is about 55 pages, uh, says that Santos spent some of his campaign money on Botox treatments, on lavish Atlantic City trips with his husband. Uh, and it also, on that fictitious part that you mentioned, uh, Dana, it says that he really tried to create this entire fic fictional 
narrative around how he was spending the money to cover it all up, essentially. And another important point, I think, is that the House Ethics Committee is evenly split. It's half Democrats, Such an half Republicans, point. and they all unanimously voted in support of this report. Apparently, uh, I'm told that he also spent some of this campaign money on OnlyFans, which is apparently a porn site. So uh, that's good use, I'm sure, of his uh, donor money. This question about what happens in the future, mm -hmm. he, the, the vote to expel him, uh, it looks like it's going to happen soon. He did change course and say he's not going to run for re-election. I just want to read a tweet from one of his fellow New Yorkers. Uh, As expected, this report confirms what we knew. George Santos is a fraud, committed fraud, and should not serve in the House of Representatives. This is why I call for his resignation, voted for his expulsion, and believe he needs to be removed from Congress. Again, this is a fellow New York Republican, and we should say on politics, these New York Republicans gave the House the majority in the GOP. They did. Um, and I think what happens next is going to be really fascinating to watch, especially because, you know, they have tried to bring up expulsion before for George Santos. I think many people didn't vote for it because they wanted to wait and see this ethics report. Now that they have it, now that, um, you know, as Laura mentioned, they voted unanimously to bring this to the floor. I think it's going to be a very different game when expulsion comes up next. And the fact that he announced that he is not going to seek re-election, even though he's saying that this report is a smear campaign against him and denying the uh, you know the substance of what is in the report, um, that does bring a lot of questions for what yeah. will happen next, especially if he does ultimately get, you know, if he ultimately is expelled from the House, that could mean a special election. What does that mean for the numbers, oh, a small majority? Yeah. There's a lot to be thought about there.